so much for tuning in. It's time for campfires and hanging out. With these five songs that I'll show you, you'll be ready to play when someone asks you to be the star at your next camp out. Welcome back to Relax Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin and this is Maggie. We're going to show you guys how to play some great campfire tunes for the campfire get togethers. And realize that uh, Vicki will leave the links for all the full lessons in the description below. So check that out when you're finished up with this one. Let's get started. We're going to start a little Otis Redding sitting on the dock of the bay. Great tunes, got some open chords, a cool walk down and walk up. So you have a little sitting in the morning sun. I'll be sitting when the evening comes. Watching the ships roll in. Then I'll watch them roll away again. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Watching the tide roll away. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Wasting time. Such a good one. I guarantee once you get to this part, somebody's going to start whistling. So be ready for it. So you have a, a G. We've got a B7 chord in here. We've got a C. An A. You can actually get by um, strumming wise with just a one and two and three and four and a simple eighth note down up strum pattern and stress that second and fourth beat. And the chorus is a, a G on the dock of the E. Watching the G roll on E. It's back and forth with G's and E's. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Then it goes to an A. G, E, a great one to add to that uh, list of songs you want to have ready for when folks ask you to play. Next up, a little Margaritaville with Jimmy Buffett. My buddy Will loves Jimmy Buffett, and I can always count on this one being played when we visit him for a little backyard fire pit. We have uh, easy chords. We got a D. You can actually get by with just three chords in this song: a D a G, and an A. You can play the whole song with those three chords. There is a D7, if you want to get a little fancy with it, and add a fourth chord. But this one is, uh, let me get the strum pattern here. Nibbling on sponge cake, watching the sun bake. All of those tourists covered in oil Some in my six string On my front porch swing Smell those shrimps, they're beginning to boil Wasting away again in Margaritaville Searching for my lost shaker of salt Some people claim that there's a woman to blame But I know it's nobody's fault What a fun tune. So uh, the open chords and you can do this strum pattern through the whole song and sound pretty good at it. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And all open chords, a uh, great one to add in. Then we have a little Stand By Me, what a great song. This one has a very cool. Cool little bass line you can learn if you want to go further than just the chords. Uh, chords wise, we have a C, an A minor. Now there is an F chord in this. If you can play those F chords, don't be scared away. You can play that F chord with just without playing it as a bar, or even just bar those first two strings. And a G. When the night has come, the land is dark 
and the moon is the only light we'll see. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. So darling, darling, stand by me. Dude, I can like smell the marshmallows cooking and the hot dogs cooking on this one. It's such a fun one. And actually the same exact strum pattern that you can use in the last song in the Margaritaville tune with a little down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Really common strum pattern. You can use this in a lot of tunes. So when Vicki and I visit the Depew family for some Depew family reunion action, usually in September, I love watching my relatives play around the, uh, it's not actually a campfire, it's a fireplace, because you got to have a fireplace to cook some beans, and I am just amazed. Now, I'm not quite there yet, speed-wise or bluegrass-wise, but I can play these and sound good doing it, and so can you. And they are great. Oh, amazing great. people. Um, I think it's just a matter of... Uh, spending more time playing guitar, so that's my plan. So this uh, this next one, little Bob Dylan. Why does that sound? Oh, mm. oh okay. You need to use a capo. <laughs> I kind of forgot that. So for this one, nice little practice for you. You need to use a capo on the seventh fret. That would help, wouldn't it? A little bit. So another great tune. A little Bob Dylan blowing in the wind. This one is good. You uh, get a little practice here with this one with some slash chords. So you'll see like things written sometimes like B slash G, uh, C slash B, which there's a C slash B in this song, or D slash A. So good for uh, slash chords. And plus, it's just one that is really recognizable. Um, I'll play a little bit of it for you. Must a man walk down before you can call him a man? How many seas must the white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. I just love this one. It's a great, great tune. The uh, the strum patterns are similar to the last two songs. We have a bass down, up, down, up. When I say bass, you're playing the bass or the root note of the chord. So for like this G, you're gonna play the sixth string. For the C, you play the sixth or the fifth string. And for the D, the fourth. down, up, down, up. So add that one in. I guarantee folks will be singing along with that one too. And last up, we've got a little Country Roads by John Denver, one of my favorite artists. It is like really starting to rain hard here <laughs> and get a little dark. So hopefully this all works out and you can still see this video okay. We're going to go with it. This one you need a capo for as well on your second fret. And the cool one about this one and remember, you can get links to all the videos for, or all the lessons in this video in the description below. Vicki will leave those for you. You can get a much more, like, the full experience of the lesson. But this uh, country rose tune has a G, an E minor, nice all open chords, perfect for beginners, a D, and a C. And the strum pattern. I like doing this one with a bass down, up, down, up, bass down, up, down, up. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old here, older than the trees. 
Sun in the mountains, growing like a breeze. Country roads take me home to a place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Country roads. Now, if you're anything like me, and it's not. Uh, the name of the channel is not relax and learn how to sing. So you might need someone else to sing the songs while you're playing the guitar. I cannot hit those high notes, especially this John Denver note. So uh, forgive me for that. It's still a lot of fun to play, and I still encourage you to play and sing if you like. Now that you have five great tunes to play at that next campfire, you're probably going to need to learn how to play and sing at the same time. So I've made a video for that. You can check it out here. Enjoy that lesson. As always, Vicki, Maggie, and I thank you for your support here on YouTube and very much appreciate you watching. Until the next lesson, remember you're never too old to learn.